Hey, what's up, what is it, boy? Freaky Seven Nine coming up with a quick video. Um, this video will be an installation uh, video for Seven Days to Die mod launcher and Darkness Falls, or any mods listed within Seven Days to Die mod launcher. <clears throat> first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we are going to navigate to. Uh, you can do a quick Google search of Seven Days to Die mod launcher okay <clears throat> seven days to die mod launcher dot org we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, click on the very first link right up top here I'm gonna click on that you're gonna let it download once you've let it download you're gonna go ahead and click on it you're gonna ahead and click run and because I do have mine install, you should see a uh, install option over here. So you're going to go ahead and launch the installer and let it do its thing. Um, so I'm not going to run it because I'm already there. So next thing you're going to do is once you've installed it, all right, and you go ahead and launch your mod launcher, um, you're going to find this. Um, alpha version here you should have an alpha 18 as an alpha version all right and then under darkness falls or ravenhurst um you're gonna see your, your different types of mods all right so for say for example this video is specific to darkness falls all right so for darkness falls you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click on darkness falls you're gonna get this cop you should get this screen here now you're gonna go ahead and click install game copy. All right. As you can also see, before I did that, I also check marked run game as admin. You don't have to do it, but it is highly recommended for you to do so. So, as you can see down here, it's it's copying, um, and it's copying and installing into a um, new area, a new folder. So let's do its thing. Once it's done. Um, I'll go ahead and pick up the video so we can uh, finish off and get on to our uh, and launch the actual Seven Days to Die uh, <clears throat> um, Darkness Falls mod. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, <coughs> download is complete. So if you have a message like this, um, just go in and click yes. Um, let it finish doing this thing. Um, if you look on the bottom, there's like nothing else running at the moment. So once that's done, you want to go ahead and click pre-sync. Let this refreshing. Um, mods for darkness falls or whatever other mods you're trying to install. Let that run its course before doing anything else um, a lot of people they forget to do this step and they get a lot of issues so um, just let this refreshing uh, pre-syncing uh, complete before you move on and I'll be right back okay so as you guys can see it's still um, syncing and downloading files it's currently at um, 2910 out of 20 or 2310 out of 2990 um, it's still refreshing downloading syncing um, so it is important for me to at least note this to you guys that when you guys are doing this make sure you have a fully functional version of um, seven days of die already uh, installed onto your system on launcher uh, files completed 2990 out of 2990 um, it's finishing up as you can see it's still refreshing so this is almost finished um, once this is done we're gonna go ahead and launch the game and make sure that it actually opens up into seven days to die um with darkness falls um so i'll be right back okay 
and welcome back um, now as you can see um, the refreshing is complete uh, it went ahead and it total download time was 14 uh, minutes and 19 seconds so right around 15 minutes ish for the uh, downloading so now it's not responding um, let this go from let it refresh let us do its thing and then if all else fails we'll go ahead and force close this mod launcher reopen it um do another pre-sync and then hopefully by the time we won't get a uh, not responding um so i'll pick up the video as soon as i see progress okay so now remember i said um your mod launcher might be frozen and might say it not responding and if you remember earlier um it was only showing this line here um so now the update is copying of that folder is done so it went ahead and the, 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 did the and then the data now all copying is done um at this point technically your game is completely installed and ready to play now all you need to do is click play mod all right so i'm just gonna let the video run um for from here on out remember the last thing i did was i clicked on play mod and uh it went into copying again so now it's opening up my seven days of this vaults.